step forward on clean energy? Uh, let's turn to EVs for a, a moment. So we just wrote in the post about how in, in Norway, they're selling more EVs than gas cars right now. And in some parts of the world, in you know, China also, we're seeing just EV uh, purchases explode and uh, it compared to the uh, traditional internal combustion engine. But um, in the US, there's been a lot of headlines about sort of consumers getting lukewarm on EVs, uh, range anxiety, there not being enough charging stations. What do we need to do to keep up with these other countries and, and why are we seeing some parts of the world just take off and here it, it's just getting, it's challenging to get people into these cars? Look, um, there are a lot of people who read the headline and stop. Uh, I like to look under uh, the hood or the frunk. Um, and what you see actually I think is a lot of really strong fundamentals in the transformation that's taking place. Uh, the investment from a capital perspective into new lines to build these cars here in the United States has been uh, stratospheric and sustained. Um, we're seeing the entire supply chain come back, batteries, anodes, cathodes, the separators, lithium being produced, a circular economy being uh, generated around this. And, you know, I think that part of it is the economics. Um, we have achieved life cycle parity, um, but it is anticipated that we will hit sticker price parity in just the next year or two. I think that will be significant. Um, I think part of it is learning uh, uh, about whether this works for you and what works for you. And I think the market's been iterating on hybrids, plug-in hybrids uh, and electric. Uh, plug-in hybrids, I think, have raced beyond expectation in part because their range has doubled uh, in just the last few years. Um, but bottom line is last month was the biggest uh, month ever recorded of EV sales, plug-in hybrid EV sales, alternative vehicles, and it was the biggest uh, month ever recorded for US manufacturing these technologies. So I think the transformation is taking place. And the good news is the transformation is taking place with American manufacturing, union labor at the front,